Hey everybody, welcome to the Koch file. I'm so glad you're here joining me. So we're going to be doing a reaction to Cheesin and Beesin. And this was, I think, a couple days ago. Uh, there was a lot of content in this, so I'm going to be doing a reaction to this one. I I know she just posted something, so I'm going to take a look at that. Um, as we know, Chantal is completely off the rails. She's, you know, in typical style, acting completely immature, making bad, bad decisions. But again, you know, maybe this is all a show and we're just all being played. But uh, let's get into it and see what she's got to say. I think this is, yeah, this is only 45 minutes long. That's a good thing. Damn. Hi, Brittany, Tiger, Abby. Um, that's it. <laughs> Jess. Flush in excess. KB. Damn it, Danny. Oh my god, I've missed you guys. I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. It was good, Abby. Did anyone celebrate Thanksgiving today? Grace, Krovis? I was celebrating Thanksgiving for the kilos. Actually, I covered my lip with concealer and it's all crusty and disgusting. Amanda, hello. Who did I miss here? Missy Moo, Dandy. Uh, <laughs> Goldilocks, Brittany, thank you. Colleen. Grace. <coughs> so am I. <laughs> Kelly! Uh, it's not a herp. But yes, they asked about it. <laughs> Vans Beezer! Chantal, it's a burn from a pipe. Come on. One STD that you're just gonna think I have, this is gonna be another one. But it's actually not. Um, are you stuffed? Well, from my understanding, I think maybe it's in the next video, but she got a call and she actually has to go back in, I believe. So there might be something else. And I, I also wonder if she had blood work done because she really should be t tested for HIV. Um, I mean, considering this guy's background and reputation, I, I would definitely have, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's just... That you, you don't want to take the chance. It's better, you know, you check everything. Um, so. With turkey. Um, yes. So, the clinic called, the doctor actually Okay, here she's going to say it. <laughs> and he's like, actually, I was reading, like, there's like a new protocol for like, the treatment. Like. Uh, I'm going to fax over to the pharmacy. You have to take another suffixum. So another pill like I took yesterday. And then for azithromycin or something like that, all in one shot. Like I had to take all of them on Thanksgiving. Yeah. Um, hi, Lisa. Saucy flight. Hi. I'm sorry you're going through a rough time. I hope it gets better, and it will. Chantal, you have no idea what a rough time is. No idea at all. This, what you live in right now, is not a rough life. You have it very comfortable. Everything that's happening to you is self-manufactured. You're doing it to yourself. You could stop this entire thing by getting your act together. I mean, I don't understand why she thinks at any point that this is normal. I mean, didn't we just go from her being beat physically and then her cat being, you know, mistreated? And she, I'm sure he scares the hell out of Pete's. 
I, I, I don't, I don't understand. And maybe, okay, this is the one thing I've been thinking. I wonder if she's really taking her psychiatric medication. I wonder. Or is she just taking it when she remembers to take it and isn't taking it consistently? Because that is the only thing that I can think of because she's so like back and forth and back. It just doesn't, something seems off, you know, and I can't help but think, you know, she can tell us all she wants that she's taking her medication. That's all fine. Doesn't mean she's actually doing it. So my mind wanders to that area. Is she taking her medication as she as it has been prescribed? Has she been consistent with it? Is she doing it every day? Because, you know, Chantal's always been a train wreck, but it's never been like this. Like, this is, like, way over the top. I mean, she's actually turning her supporters, who are diehard supporters, she's, like, turning them, you know? They're, and... and She's jeopardizing her channel. She needs to like fix it. She needs to fix her life at her priority street. And honestly, I think she needs to check in with her psychiatrist. And I hope she keeps up with the therapy. But I don't know. I'm having a feeling like maybe she's not taking her medicine or not taking it consistently because I don't believe anything she says. You know, she could say she's taking her medicine. It doesn't mean she is. No, Ronald. Grace, yo, I've been here for three months. What's your fave strain? Ready, set, rabies. Um, I don't have a favorite strain. I don't know. Like, I'm still testing everything out. Um, I don't know. I like really liked the mojito. The sativa strain mojito. I'm having some cheese. That's why it's called cheesin and beesin. So, yeah. Hi, Angela. Denise! Hi, Denise! Sandra! Hello, everybody. So, Thanksgiving was good. Well... I don't... I can't go for my blood work today. It's a holiday. So... But I find it interesting that the doctor calls her on a holiday. I mean, I would imagine their Thanksgiving is probably a big holiday. Um, I'm shocked that the lawyer, I mean, lawyer, <laughs> God, the doctor, uh, she definitely needs to get herself a lawyer. Um, but she uh, got a call from the doctor on a holiday, which seems very unusual. But I guess, you know, maybe there's something serious that they need to talk to her about. And I have to say, the one thing that I find very strange is that when she went to the clinic, like when she got the, I'm sorry, when she got the call to go to the clinic, how lazy she is. Like, I would have been like, bye guys, I would have been gone. Like, I, I just, I, I don't know if, if, if she's just playing it out like stupid or if she is like this. Are you telling me she doesn't know where STDs come from? She doesn't know the risk she's taking by having unprotected sex with a random man? This is a man she met on a dating site. It wasn't like a, a guy she met on a dating site and they went on some dates and they built, you know, built a rep, uh, relationship and as time went on, they spent more and more time together, going places, doing things. No, this is sex, drugs, drug, sex, sex, drug. That's all it is. And the thing I can't even wrap my head around is her past long-term relationships we're not guys like this. So I almost wonder if she tries to find people who are like indoor cats. You know, they just sit at home and don't do anything. That gives her free range to do whatever she wants. Because she doesn't have to do anything with the man she's with. She's free to do whatever she wants. I think that's the scenario she likes. But I think in her imagination, she thinks that she wants a guy who she could do YouTube with and be a couple. 
like, you know, you see some of those YouTubers that do that. Okay, so I have two re well, I probably have several reasons against this idea. But number one, if anything, and we've seen this on other YouTube channels, if anything uh, goes wrong, they break up, whatever, whatever happens, something happens, what happens with the channel? The woman has to, or the man has to go on there and have this sit down and say, well, we had to end everything. And then you get all the questions, right? It's complicated. If you have a channel with someone that you really don't know well, it's complicated. How are you going to divide all that? That's a business, right? If he's partaking in videos, he needs a portion of the business. I mean, it, like I run, I run a business. So like I'm thinking it in a business sense. I'm thinking about that scenario. It's not a good scenario. She, she should not, um, she should not do that. That's not a good idea. But I think in her mind, that's her ideal situation. But in reality, she wants a guy who's an indoor cat and just watches TV all day and she can do whatever the hell she wants. I mean, I know this because I'm stubborn and I'm thick headed and I usually don't listen to many people. So, but I have common sense. You know what I mean? I get it. I get that wanting to resist, you know, against the rules. But you have to pull yourself in. Look, you grow up, you mature. You know, how I was at 20 isn't how I how I am in my 40s. This woman's almost 40 years old. Sorry, I was rambling. <laughs> Thanks, Accountable Beauty. <laughs> I said I didn't miss you on Bay Nation stream, but I was just teasing. Yeah, right. Um, Anytime she says, I'm joking, oh, oh, I'm okay. teasing, Thanks. it's a lie. Well, Thanks. Um, Look at this. For the basic, basic. Oh, my God. Our five-month anniversary. Oh. Basic, basic. Oh, my God. Our five-month anniversary. Ready, set, rebies. You know, I'd really like somebody in a chat to repeatedly say to her, so what happened to the abuse? What Thank happened you to the sticking beating? with me for that long. What what happened to all this? Treatment? What's that? I know. I was under treated at first. I was like, what? What if I'm under treated now? Chantal, just like I said the last time, when you are not feeling well, what you typically do is you wait until it gets so bad. That you have to go to an urgent care, go to a hospital, whatever it is. You always wait until it's at its worst point. So you had this issue with your throat for some time. I mean, you had it at least for several days before all this. At least a week, I think. You should have you should have went to see your family doctor. I mean, I don't know how it is in Canada. Maybe they go to the ER a lot there. I mean, in the States, it's like, I try to avoid the ER at all costs. Like, I hate going to the ER. I hate it. Because, you know, you're you're going to wait. It's like an all-day event, and, and it sucks. My lip? Oh, I put concealer on it. Oh, my crops? I will let you know, Grace, for sure. Crusty toe cheese. Grace. I think it's called azithromycin. Let me see. I think it's called. So there's two of them. This one is suffixime. Suffixim? Yeah, azithromycin. Take four tablets as one dose. And this one, suffixim, is just one. Like a. One thing like that. That's it. I don't have any leftovers. I didn't eat much at my mom's. I wasn't... I don't have much of an appetite Well, I wasn't eating now. How much do you want to bet she did a speed race into her mother's house? <laughs> I, I would imagine that she just like went in there, hi, hi, hi. I'm sure she ate some food because, you know, Chantal would never, you know, turn down food. And then probably proceeded to go to Nadar's. 
I do right now. But then, so what I had was, I had my dinner, and then, you're going to hate me, but yes, I went to his house, and that's where I posted, I had another dinner, because I... <laughs> yeah, I it bet It was you. so good, it was like, I don't know, it's on my stories or whatever. Mmm. So she had another dinner, so she was at Nadar's, and she, so she ate at her mother's, and she ate at Nadar's. I'm sure she spent much less time at her mother's, because I would imagine when she goes to see her family, they always start the conversation with, you know, how are you doing? What's going on? Chantal, you got to get your act together. She probably doesn't want to hear it, okay? A lot of people don't want to hear reality. They don't want to hear their family constantly drill them about what they're doing to their life because they know that they're right. Okay, she wants to do her own thing. She doesn't want anybody telling her how to do anything. And what happens is when her family comes in and starts questioning her and having it makes her uncomfortable because she knows what she, she is doing wrong. She knows that she has to change. She knows what they're saying is right. Um, now I'm eating this. Now I'm so hungry. The lock. Oh my god. The lock. Now we're so good. Ah. Anyway. No, I wanted to hurry. I wanted to hurry. I know it's like late right now, but. So I came home, got comfy, um, <coughs> something, 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 something. Now I'm here with you, having a little something, something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't even remember unblocking EG. <laughs> Somebody said. <laughs> Please, it's KB. Please don't do it with him while you're both riddled with STDs. I can almost guarantee you they had sex. <laughs> Just, I don't know why she's so gross at a, such a gross level. I could see her being so desperate for attention and se that through sex that she would have done them even with the STDs. I wouldn't be shocked. I mean, I hope she didn't. But uh, the likelihood of that, I say pretty high. I think I unblock and a block and unblock EG so often that YouTube now is just like, uh, Bay Nation! Bay Nation! So, yeah. This is the front, yeah. You guys, I can't do anything mm -mm, mm -mm, for at least seven days. Yeah, right. Mm -mm. See how long she sticks to that. I'm sure she already broke that rule. Just stop blocking me. Yeah, I think I'm just going to not block you anymore or whatever. And that changes week by week. If she's going to block, she's not going to block. I'm so hungry. Oh my God, Chantal, you're chips. always hungry. Oh no, she's gonna eat chips. Oh, okay. help us! We gotta hear the chips. Hello. Oh. oh, those are crunchy, BBJ. Someone wrote, "Why did you post you guys, Pete's picture really of old. dinner?" You okay. Ronald said, I'm more surprised okay. she was with family today than anything. I'm Aww. sure she didn't stay long. I, I would imagine that every time she sees her family, it's a very quick visit. Like, you can tell she doesn't have that family. I mean, they're very bonded to her. They care. But yeah. I don't think she really... Yeah. Like, I'm very close She's to my family. up a hairball. I'll just mute it. My cousins and everything. <clears throat> And Melinda wrote, you know, no sex for two weeks or you both get it again.
Oh, so many, many um, Missy, Missy Moo wrote that some doctors, you know, due to COVID and closures, they try to the said make calls on the holidays. Thanks, Melinda. Ah, is Nadar there? Why is she uh, muting? Hmm. I wonder. Because she wouldn't mute for Pete's. I, I don't imagine she would meet for peace unless she's saying something she really doesn't want us to hear. But what do you guys think? You think Nadar is there? I think she's all right. You can't hear BBJ? She's choking on hair fibers. Change the battery. Change the battery in the VIB. Oh my god. I'm dying. Hi, sweetie. BBJ needs a checkup. Yeah, probably. Kind of fresh. Hello. Oh, and guys, make sure you like the video if you're enjoying it. And if you okay, haven't so already subscribed, please finished. do. Take I a moment to do that. Two weeks. Oh my god. Oh, Chantal, come on. You went longer than that. that Jeez. Then. Stop. <laughs> Ridiculous. I don't know why I'm saying that. I went like a whole, like, a long time. Of course he did. Before. Um, I'm just going to have something to smoke as well. Baby J? J J B. I I mean, one thing I'm glad about is she does seem to be taking less of the, the edibles. It's not as zoomed <laughs> out. This is Ghost Train Haze pre-roll. Never heard of it. I was picking up my prescription at the pharmacy. Hi, baby girl. And there was a cannabis store right beside there. So I went in and you get these small little pre-rolls. I like them because they're small, yeah, you know, so you and then to... you can just have like a small one. Yeah, that is a good idea. KB, cause uh, of death, Nashville chicken sandwiches and triple gonorrhea. Guys. <laughs> anyway, so then. So let's read some of these comments. Let's see. Uh, the only way she will be done with him is when he's done with her. I thought you broke up over the phone last night between streams. Sandra, KB, she's going to leave him next week. Maybe next year or when, or when he's ready, he's ready to leave her. Uh, it, um, Giza wrote, is he okay with condoms? You need to use them from now on. Who cares if he's okay with it? If he doesn't want to use one, walk out the door. I mean, why would you compromise your health to fuck? Okay, I'm sorry, I shouldn't use that word. <laughs> I'll take it back. To have sex, okay? Why would you compromise your health? You already have all these issues, which you kind of pushed off to the side and don't pay attention to. But they're going to rear their ugly heads, your diabetes, your clot in your lung, all. Everything's going to amplify and amplify until you end up in the ER again. Oh, wait, let me make sure I didn't miss any comments. Uh, yeah, KB calls a death, Nashville chicken sandwiches, and triple gonorrhea. <laughs> That's funny. Um, Ivana wrote, why don't you try to find a new guy to date? Literally anyone would be better than cracky. 
crusty toe. I never be able to get the nasty visual out of my head. P peen the size of golf ball oozing. Oh god gross. Okay. Crobus, I guess we will just wait and see what he brews up to give you the ne give you next since you didn't take this as a sign to be done. <laughs> Oh, my God. You know, when she goes back and forth, oh God, tell, please. I wish Shannon would let us know if she is really this absent in the mind. Or, or is, she just, is she just playing it up like she just does not know? She went back and forth about the STD thing. So he's telling her it's because you don't keep yourself clean. You know what you do? You say, F you. I'm out of here. Don't ever call me again, you scum bucket of the earth. Okay? And you end it there. Don't let anybody blame you for something you didn't do. If you know that you didn't cheat, don't ever let someone do that, manipulate you into thinking that it was you. You point the finger to the guilty party and you say, no, it's you. Okay? And if that wasn't a clue enough, I don't know, put it being put in a chokehold, being slapped, punched, kicking the cat, running after him, yelling and screaming like a wild animal. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I would not want this level of chaos and drama in my daily life. Like, I don't know how she can even relax. I don't know how she can just live life like a normal person, but... Let's take a look at Nikocado Avocado, right? Nikocado is problematic. He's someone who creates all this drama. We have to keep in mind that Chantal, we all know she lies a lot. This can be all a coordinated effort, okay? She could be sitting down with Pete saying, look, I'm going to do this, this, this. You react this way. She could be working with not that and being like, oh, you put this on your YouTube and I'll put this on my YouTube and I will say this and then I'll say that and I'll put a little bit of information on uh, Instagram and make people think, hmm, I wonder if she's there. YouTubers do this stuff. I know like it's not talked about a lot. I wish they would do like a documentary on this because it would be very interesting because I think as these YouTubers get more and more bigger, they run out of content. So they just make shit up, you know? I mean, I told my husband, if I had to record my life on a daily basis, I would have to make shit up. Like, unless I'm doing a cooking channel or something. But to do a channel that's like a vlog type channel, there's no way that I would ever have any interesting content or enough interesting content to fill every day or three times a week, maybe once a week. A new guy to date. I am not dating him. I know you don't believe me, but... <coughs> I hesitate to believe a lot of things she says because if you do watch her eye movement, and I'm not an expert in this area, I know when people, you know, are telling me something, they're looking me straight in the eye, their eye might kind of, you know, go downwards or something. But usually they're looking right at you when people are talking. She's always like, her eyes are just up, down, side, this way, that. I mean, she's never, you know, when she starts talking about something that she's been asked a question, the eyes just go all over the place. Look, look, you can see her in this picture. She's just looking up to the sky. I forget what it is, what direction. I have to look it up. Like, there's a certain direction they say, like, you could tell when someone's trying to make something up. Why don't you date him somebody new? Why don't you? Uh, because, obviously, I guess I just don't have enough. I don't know what my problem is. Like, I just... Anyway. Yeah, so, uh... <coughs> Mary, you lie. That's your issue. I need sleep. Someone wrote, sleep you will 100% catch night. something again. Well, I went to bed at like... Lindsay Marie. No, because you lie all the time. I went to bed yesterday, right? You even lied about the Thanksgiving pic but, today. Yeah, I think so. 
EJ, why would you stay with fr- friends with someone who cheated on you and gave you gonorrhea? I didn't say that was my pick. Where did I say it was my pick? Chantal, why would you post a pic that wasn't your pic? Why would you take a random Thanksgiving picture and post it as your meal? Or why would you take a picture of some other plate? Why? I mean, normally, like, so I just takes a picture, a clip of your picture of what you're eating. I never said that. I just posted the pic. Obviously, you guys would know it's that one because I've posted pictures of pizza's dinner before. <laughs> Like, I never said that. I just said, Happy Thanksgiving. And then I posted a pic of his dinner. And then I posted a pic of mine after. Because he sent me his first. So, posted a pic of mine after I took it. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, that's true. Ugh, bam. Stop! Stop scaring me. I, need, I guess I need to be scared. Laura, Melinda, Giordano. Well, if you get a TV again, you know he cheated this time. <clears throat> Yeah, EG yeah. said, be scared for of what sure, they could find time, in the blood work. What about this time? Or for sure next time, but what about this time? <laughs> he cheated. End of conversation. Look, there there are times, you know, people are in a long-term relationship. Uh, somebody steps out, does something, you know, stupid, owns up to it, whatever. And the the spouse decides, you know, after processing it all, decides to forgive their um, their spouse and uh, continue on with the relationship. I I have, you know, I know people who who have done that, um, and I don't I don't judge in that because you know relationship is so complicated, and I don't know their situation, but. She is trying to convince herself of something that does not exist. She's trying to convince herself that she has a man who is monogamous, who only wants to be with her. He does not only want to be with her. He's sleeping with many, many other women. She thinks that she's with him all the time. She's not. We know she's not. Okay. She is so delusional in how she thinks about this relationship. It's mind-blowing. She has she has this idea, this narrative in her head of what she thinks it is, and then there's reality happening in front of her, but she doesn't see the reality. She sees the what's imagined in her mind. It's so like mind-blowing to me. Oh my god, come on. I know, guys. <laughs> Wait, I have to read this comment. Um, <coughs> sorry. <laughs> Krobus wrote, she doesn't care that he cheated. She could walk in on him doing it and would be editing his videos that same night. Pretty much. Pretty much. Lindsay Marie, you're not as naive as you pretend to be. Yeah, you know, like, I'm having a hard time believing that she is this, like, empty up there. Um, I would love, love, love if Shannon made it. Because Shannon's the one that's known her for so many years. So she would be the definite one that would know um, if she's that empty upstairs. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. She acts... And then when she acts, sometimes she acts like we're all dumb. It's so ridiculous. Julia Rockford wrote, next time it might be HIV. Well, maybe, maybe you never know. I think she, oh, she has to have the blood work done. Yeah. Uh, the thought of that, Julia. 
Sorry, I keep pausing because I'm seeing things in a comment. So KB wrote, the fact that you can't talk about it with him because he'll flip out is the saddest part. Another sign. You know why he's flipping out? Because he knows he gave it to her. And so he's going to flip out and get all temperamental and then turn it on her, which is what he's doing. Because again, he knows that he cheated. So he knows what he's being accused of is right. So he gets mad. That's what happens. I guess I just really don't want any of this to be true. You know what I mean by that? I don't want to look like a floating head either. I want to like... I don't know where my... Was it in the kitchen or... I don't remember. But... It was good, Callie, Ma. Oops. Be a strong woman. I'm trying so hard <coughs> to get that in <laughs> independent woman strength. <laughs> Dying of fresh fruit. Maybe you'll create a new <laughs> STD <laughs> together. <laughs> Goals. <laughs> Says he's not doing it. But if he is, the worst part is, is that, like, he's so jealous of me doing Okay, Chantal. He's getting mad because he is cheating. Something, you know? I, like, whatever. I can't be in a relationship. I'm just going to, like, keep my options open, too. Fuck that shit. Anyways, you guys know I'm just blah, blah, blah. Yeah, living in denial. This is annoying, I know. It is. Hi, Dodo. Jessica. Fun vlog topper. Yeah, E.G. Root. It still could be HIV, I don't know syphilis. Him, though. I talk a lot of shit about him. There I go here. Oh, I, like, I do. Anytime he does something to me, I and I expose it. But then, yes, yeah, like, forgive him. But. Hi, Sam. Yeah, E.G. Root. It still could be HIV, Hi, syphilis, Sam. or hep C since she oh, hasn't shit. had the blood test yet. I know. I would have had the blood test right then. Right yes, that first you. day. Oh, of my God. Yeah, you can tell everybody's kind of pounding her. I She's getting so irritated. Plain cheeseburgers. Where's plain cheeseburgers? She's trying desperately to change the course of conversation in the chat. I did read up briefly about it, Laura. Sam? Wait, I'm not going to bed just right this minute. Hey. Yeah, Vlogtober went down the toilet. Someone said, so when are you going to actually going to do something Vlogtober related? Again, or I'm is that part of the script? Finish, 
can. Where's the light? And you got Tori saying, your Hello, old videos were so good. Where's what happened? Toys? You look unhappy. Where's your toys? In the one, in the <laughs> old boys. one, you looked happy and talked about so many different things. Now it's just about him. <laughs> you beezer! Chevy moves. Chevy moves. Chevy moves. <laughs> hey. Oh my god, get that out of the fan. Ooh. <coughs> Oops, sorry. In the last six months you could have worked on your health, gotten to the two hundred, gone some days with different guys, same as well. Yes, I'm aware. Would have, should have, could have, would have. Whatever. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. Um, tell us about your family dinner. No, we don't have to talk about him. We can talk about anything else. Actually, is better for me. No, she's. They um, asked about your family dinner. It was, it was nice. Just like yeah, see, she's got to, she's got to think about it because she wasn't there long. Be quiet. She probably doesn't even know who was there. This thing, eh? This thing. And she doesn't even answer the question. Small joint. Go smoke this and go to sleep, and then get up and do whatever I have to do tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Plain cheeseburger <laughs> also does Uber Eats. The cannibal beauty's mom. I like what Bam wrote here. <clears throat> In the last six months, you could have worked on your health, got into the 200s, gone on some dates with different guys, saved up enough to go on that trip somewhere, and work towards Eurobees 2020. Yeah, you know, she has all these ideas, but she doesn't put it into action you know like the oh sorry hold on let me turn that off <laughs> um yeah she has all these ideas but she doesn't put them into motion because again she's heavy right she walks up the steps she's barely breathing i mean for her to go on an airplane walk around see tourist sites i mean that's a very you know, when you go on vacation and you see tourist stuff, there's a lot of walking involved. You're out a lot. You're, you're not sitting around. You're running around. Um, she couldn't, I can't imagine she could handle that. I think that would be a lot of physical activity for her. Um, you know, she's used to sitting probably 95% of the day or laying down. But yeah, she could have lost all that weight. I mean, if you're determined enough and focus yourself, you can lose that weight. I mean, if she had vlogged uh, her weight loss journey up until this point, instead of being with this jackass, okay? If she had vlogged her journey in losing weight and actually stuck with it and lost all that weight during a time, you know how big her, her channel would have grown a lot, okay? Because, you know... People are really into diets. They're into a lot of stuff. There's a lot of popular stuff. But, you know, look, health, weight loss, it's popular. Um, she's just, she really isn't thinking right. I mean, we all know that, right? Hi, Polly Bug. The desserts. It was after. I didn't have any dessert. I never had Katie wrote. What Did was you your family's reaction to knowing you're back what? with him? Oh, you know she didn't tell them. They probably pretend they don't know. They used to be farting on their chairs. No, Colleen, he did not. Buster, yes. My gamer chair could make someone sick. Yeah, but, well, maybe. <sighs> hey. 
Hey, Jeb. Sam? Yes, we have a haunt drive through coming up <coughs> on the 14th. So t stay tuned for that. I'm thinking of doing it live this time, like last year. Yeah, no, please do. Can't stand hey. these lives. And I don't think she's. Is this an open chat? Uh, oh yeah, kind of looks like. Oh, is it? Oops, sorry. I'm trying to see. Yeah, I think this looks like it's open. I was gonna say I, ha I haven't seen her do many open chats lately. I'll see what the reception is like. Um, and then what else? I thought yeah, we have a lot of stuff planned. <laughs> yeah, there is that Debbie side problems. Oh my god. You guys, I know my life is fucked. Obviously, you know. Ugh. Yeah, let's just talk about something else. I never expect that, Angie, ever. I need to get in the mood to do like Halloween stuff. I like buying the pre rolls, they're more expensive, but they're rolled so perfectly that she likes the pre rolls and she's willing to pay premium price for it because she's lazy. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the, the, uh, the size of it or it's done so perfectly she's lazy you know they have those cone ones that's what I have and you just fill it in twist the end that's it you're done you can make it any size you want it just sucks like they're rolled so perfectly Nothing, Sandra. Uh. Listen. I said I'm not with him anymore. I know you don't believe me. Lies, lies, lies. You were there, what, tonight? It's the only time while During this video? Be the tower of truth because that's all I can do at this point. I don't blame you. Okay, you don't have any right to blame us about anything because we did nothing to you. Okay. Um, okay, I'm not, I'm not, not even going to do it. At this point because, yes, I've changed my mind many, many, many times. No kidding. And no even kidding. now, I don't know. I feel like, this is how I feel, my heart doesn't want to end things, but my brain knows, like, it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> um, so, and f like, for many, many reasons. So, you know. Hi, Gail! Yeah, that was another thing. Uh, account of a beauty root. Uh, Nada has literally never f gotten you a gift once. Yeah, I mean, that's another thing, right? You know, when you're in a relationship, usually early on, you know, you might buy something little or you might, you know, get flowers or something like that. You know, usually at the beginning, you know, you're trying to uh, make a positive impact, you know, a positive, uh, you know, you're trying to, May, you know, shine a good light. So, I mean, that's not a, you know, it's not a odd, but you know, she, she, he, he doesn't do anything for her. I mean, he does not do anything. We all know that she does everything. 
I don't even know if she knows what it's like to have a man. Well, no. If she had a man who surprised her with flowers once in a while, bought her special gifts, maybe some jewelry. I, I don't think, she, I think she would grow bored of that guy. She doesn't, she doesn't like those, you know, I think she wants someone who's just a, a train wreck like her. Right now, that's what she seems to be going after. Yes, no good I was. There's a lot of things that I really love about him that I, I feel like I'll really miss. Like his cooking every single... Yes, because, you know, when his cooking is really good, I'm willing to take the beating. Yeah, because, you know, good clock in the face is good for some falafel, you know? Maybe some tabula with it. How about some baba ganoush, you know? Like, sure, make me some food and he can just bop me in the head or punch me in the arm or put me in a headlock. Friggin' day. Good, healthy, really good food. And I There are a lot of things that I love about him. One being his food. So I could tell you... If you're in a relationship, I would imagine that's not the first thing that comes on the list. Lord, it's not even on my list, okay? I have things like integrity, honesty, helpfulness, companionship. Those are qualities in a relationship that you look for. What? His food? That's number one on your list, the food. No, I'm continuing to lose weight because of that too. That helps. And I have like something to focus my mind on that. Oh, no. it's you can tell she's getting it's irritated. All I think about. No. Actually, I don't know. And I wish you would stop saying, you know, because it's really getting on everybody's nerves. Um, you and Amber Lynn with your, your repetitive words that you use. <laughs> God, this woman. I'm in one of those. I'm one. I don't know if I'm one of those. I think I'm just one of those people that like, unfortunately, just like falls in love quickly and. <sighs> it's not love. It's definitely not love. It's definitely not love. Happens in time. Right. You know, as you get to know someone that you're a partner with and you spend more time with them, you realize you have things in common and you have similar interests and and, uh, you know, the, all these things start to come together. And that love just grows in a relationship. I have a hard time believing that you actually love this guy. I think this. I think this all comes down to attention and I think it comes down to, you know, whatever this narrative is you're playing, maybe it's a script. I don't know. Look, this could be all one big joke and we're being laughed at. I mean, they, they could all be huddling together in the living room and not that pizza and shut the ha ha ha. Look at these fools. No, they believe everything I say. It's so hard to get out of that. You were with him for five months. It's not that hard. God, everybody's like going off in the comments. Because let me see. Yeah, she's still on for a bit more. <laughs> eat the food. Yeah, I could eat the food if we just stay friends maybe. I don't know, but that doesn't always work. Now remember, she says so many things I love about him. She named one. The food. Just, just remember that. Food. That is what she loves about him. Food. You know. Fupa and hair fibers. I'm more than fupa and hair fibers. Okay? Yeah, Abby, I went over for dinner. And... Came back home. Went out to dinner. Wait, I'm confused. I thought, 
I don't know if the Thanksgiving was on this day or the day before, because if it was this day, then that means she would have had three meals or didn't know that I didn't cook and it went out to a restaurant. I don't know. I'm just a little confused here. Triple maker. <laughs> yeah, Jess, I love that. Sandra. Don't be a hater, Sandra. I, Colleen, seeing, I understand, yeah. I know that it must have been so messed up seeing me there after everything I said that happened. And I know that every time I do that, I go back and then come back and start complaining about things and the horrible things or the bad things, then you guys just like, it's, yeah, it's confusing, I know, it's just, I don't know, I start to miss him and then we talk and then I'm just like. That's why you block the number. When you're in an abusive relationship, you cut everything off okay you don't communicate with the person you have no children with this man you've only been with him for five months disconnect why are you talking to him i mean why why are you wasting your valuable time and your life to this loser scumbag And frankly, you're not looking too good yourself considering the type of man you're with right now. Anyway. Yeah, it's just because he like blames it on me and I like sort of like believe that like, you know. For that, you're an idiot. You have a college education. Come on, woman, what is wrong with you? How would you let a man or anyone twist your mind like that? If at all, any of this is true. <laughs> be quiet. Well, I guess I just my mind wasn't I wanted to uh, get to the pharmacy before they closed but when he cooks your book look I love them Yes, Brooke. Okay, what do you guys want to talk about? BBJ? <laughs> oh, I'm Bam, sorry, I know. Guys. I'm going to have to sneeze. Didn't have a chance to mute it. I don't know, Abby. I mean, it's not that I'm okay with it. It's just... No, you are okay with it. It's, it's totally... You have pretty much um, described this as your norm. That you like getting beat on. You enjoy his food. Ooh, Amsterdam. And I mean, I know obviously what the obvious is, but know someone <laughs> Abby thank you I 
know, but... Go on a walk. Well, I don't know when my Torrid is getting here. I'm getting kind of like, where are you, Torrid? Because when did I order it? They didn't have my Creep It Real underwear. I was going to order it and have like the mug and do like a cute Instagram post. But I can't now. <laughs> oh my god. I need content. I'm not testing my blood sugar right now. How for? She hates exercise. This is true. I do. I'm tired. I just feel so drained all the fucking time. Oh, I'm probably gonna have a heart attack one day from being so stressed out and tired. No, no you're gonna have a heart. Different. You're gonna have something. You're gonna have well, something bad like happen some because of how you live your life. life. Food, everything. Sure hope you don't have anything bad happen to you. Change the battery, old navy, yeah. <clears throat> oh. oh my god. I'm so tired. I don't think I can stay on much longer, guys, honestly. I don't think I can. We're not talking about Natter anymore. Look at this gross thing. It looks like a fucking maggot in my eyeliner. Because I'm not with him. Because, yes, I keep thinking about it. Thing, I keep thinking about everything. And it keeps making me mad over and over. When I'm away from him, I, when I'm with him, I don't think about it. Then when I'm away from him. I think about the things and I'm gonna get mad all over again and hurt. Google. <laughs> Leave town. <laughs> <clears throat> the makeup on the on the burn is really gross looking. Get your blood work done. I know it's gross looking. The burn, the, uh, I'm telling you, I would I would have not gone on live <laughs> if I had something like that. It's I don't know. Um, what you gonna call it? So, <laughs> no good route. Do you even know how to make content without discussing him and how he is feeling? Do you ever want to? <laughs> it's not an aquarium. <laughs> oh my crops. <laughs> it's just a hole in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be a TV, but I brought the TV to 
my then boyfriend who broke it the next day and now I don't have a TV there so I put old McDonald's <coughs> cups that I have to take downstairs. Guys, I <coughs> We're almost done, guys. It's just not that easy, that's all, is what I'm saying. It's like actually not easy at all. No, I, it's still there, phony. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just so tired. I can't even, like, really keep up with conversation. Cooking for tomorrow. <coughs> Actually, I think that's what I did have planned, and I should just do it. You know what I mean? Fuck, it's over. <laughs> What? Pete has a platform. He's always been had access to my channel anytime. If he wanted to, so that's not true. Actually. Go on Tinder. No, don't encourage her to go on Tinder. <laughs> I don't Damn. have the mental energy for Tinder or dating apps anymore. I don't. <laughs> like, at all. <clears throat> At all. <sighs> My bed looks so cozy with BBJ. I just want to lay, lay, lay. Relax all night with my BBJ. <coughs> BBJ. BBJ. dating show. No, oh, thank you. So. Oh my god, I can hardly stay awake, guys. I'm so glad I set my machine. I machine up last, last night. Nanny Love, thank you so much, Nanny Love, for your super chat. Thank you, thank you, Nanny Love. <laughs> My sheets, Bam. <laughs> uh, a few days ago. Please clean up your scab, of course. I'm gonna wash my face. You'll see. I won't have this on when I get come back on here. Um, <laughs> no, what's? Jess, you cannot get it from dirty sheets. 
That's what I thought too. That's why I bought Garden Fresh. I'm just joking. Chantal, <laughs> it's not but... funny. Oh god, I don't even want to fucking think about it. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I said. And I'm out of hair fibers, so this ha these hair fibers have to last me. Unless I find some somewhere, I don't know. Well, if you stop spending all your money on, you know, him. Buying his food, paying his rent, paying everything else. <laughs> Monique. Brown tinted I tried that AMC. It didn't work well. My hair? I don't know. Male pattern baldness. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is. Friggin' hungry. I wish I had pizza. And lakma. Ugh. Oh, lakma. Because, you know, we don't think about all the bad things that have happened, like the abuse and all that stuff, or, and the drugs and all that stuff. So we, we think so about Lochma. Anyway. You know, the Lochma is, I can't is the focus. Too late. <sighs> no, and I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm staying home. I'm so tired. I'm going to sleep, and I really want to do a deep clean. <sighs> you just... always say that. Oh, I want to be occupied with this shit. I don't know. I'm not. I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to say. Well, I'm right now. We're broken up and blah blah blah. And then the next day, oh, I'm so in love. Because that's how my. That's what it feels like in my head. It's a roller coaster. One day I hate his guts. Uh, I guess I mean I don't like hate, but one one day I just fighting or I remember things or whatever. We hurt each other. The next day it's good. And I'm so in love or whatever. It's really fucked. So anyway. Take a break from here. I don't know. We'll see. She would never take a break from here. She needs the attention. I'm okay. Just talking. <clears throat> one ounce of willpower. What do you mean never have one ounce of willpower? I guess I do. No, you don't. No, I don't have the hair topper in right now. When it comes to certain things, I have a lot less, yes. No. What? Shut up, Kaylee. Just getting feisty, guys. Ugh. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go. It's just fucking bullshit and negative. Like, nothing. Like, she can't handle what's it. What's the point? <laughs> like. So. Maybe I just won't do live streams anymore. Maybe I'll just do recorded content. Oh, please, please, and please, just... please. We all know she's going to keep doing the lies because she is unbelievably lazy. And having been doing this for a time now, for her to now go back and do videos consistently, um, that's way too much work for her. She's not going to do it. No way, no how. Record my video, put it up, let people talk shit, and I'll just walk away. <laughs> Seriously, like, I feel like the interaction is just, like, toxic at this point. You know what I mean? It's just, just like, shut up. I don't know, tiring, I guess you could say. <clears throat> 
so I'm gonna give it some thought but I'm not enjoying the streams as much anymore so why you know why she doesn't enjoy the streams is because everybody is um, against her she doesn't like that but yeah anyway I'm gonna go so I will see you guys later all right guys thank you so much for joining me today i'm really like thrilled that you guys are here and hope you enjoyed the video please leave your comments below let me know what you're thinking and uh if you haven't subscribed already please do if you already are thank you so so much and don't forget to like the video have a wonderful wonderful day everyone